Welcome. So in this case, what I'd like to do is apply the Pythagorean theorem. Um, we're given a triangle, and we have a right angle, uh, to be able to find the height of this parallelogram. Uh, well, that's at least what it looks like, but I can make sure it's a parallelogram. Do these little arrows. But regardless, we don't really care about the parallelogram. We just care about this, ang this triangle because we want to find that missing length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw the triangle because that's really all we care about. We know that the hypotenuse is 66 inches, and one of the legs is 30, um, 33 inches, and we just want to figure out what is the height. So to be able to do this, again, we need to use our Pythagorean theorem. One of our formulas doesn't really matter. And I can say 33 squared plus 6, oh, I'm sorry, plus your height squared equals 66 squared. So to go ahead and do this, I will use my lovely handy dandy calculator, and I'll do 33 uh, squared is 1,089 plus 8 squared. And then I do 66 squared is 4,356. I subtract 189. And therefore, I get 8 squared equals. 3,267. Now I take the square root of both sides, and h equals 3,267. Now it might be important to go and take a look and see, all right, well, maybe is there any you know, perfect, uh, or, um, perfect, perfect squares that would divide into that? So maybe I'd divide by 9, see if that goes in. And it does go in there 363 times, which is awesome. Um, so then I could also just maybe look at, um, do that, 363. And 363, it's not going to go in 9, 25, 49. OK. So great. So I take the square root of this. And now I can break this up into a perfect square by rewriting this as 9 times 363, right? So now I can take the square root of 9, which is 3, and I'm left with 363. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the missing length when given um, a figure and a triangle within that figure to solve. Thanks.